Hey loves, Chidi here, your favorite fashion designer and tutor. Today we'll be doing this beautiful bell sleeve that you can see on the screen. If this sounds like what you would like to know how it is done, then come with me and I will show you how this is done. Here I have my basic sleeve already drafted. I'm going ahead to measure the biceps line as i've measured the line i'll draw a line using my pattern master along this part i hope you can see what i'm doing since it's just a pen my marker is exhausted i'm marking two inches below this bicep line watch closely and you will see what i'm doing i'm also marking two two inches from this part of the sleeve I hope you can see that I've drawn a line to meet the two inches. I didn't get it to the fold of the sleeve. I'm also drawing a straight line, just as you can see. Just watch closely and you will understand perfectly what I'm doing. Here I'm marking another two inches down and two inches along this line again. I'm using my pantom master to connect this straight line. I'm also connecting along just as I did in the previous one. I hope this is clear. I really hope this is clear. Watch closely and you will understand. Here I have my fabric that I want to use and cut this bell sleeve. This sleeve is so beautiful. I saw it on stitches by Isis page. And I said, wow, this is beautiful and it will be very good to use on the dress I am making. I decided to show you my lovely farm, how I arrived at this. Now I placed my fabric on fold and I'm going to place the sleeve on it. Watch carefully and you will see every bit of the way or method or the steps I took to achieve this sleeve. Here I have my basic sleeve placed on the fabric. Okay, I'm going ahead to slash and spread. I'm going to slash and spread. Just watch closely how I am slashing the lines that I've already drawn. As simple as this. I've already slashed the lines, placed it on fold on the fabric, and I'm going to go ahead and spread. Watch carefully how I am spreading this, this sleeve. Now I've measured, it's rough, roughly four, three quarter there, and two and a half at that end part. You can spread as wide as you want, it's strictly choice. If you want it to be very big, you can spread it further. It's strictly choice. So this method of making the bell sleeve will make the cap area to still be fitted while the flay is just on the lower side. It won't make both the cap and the body of the sleeve to be full, no. It won't look like a normal flay or bell sleeve. This one will make the cap area to be intact while the body of the sleeve is full. Okay. I'm going ahead to trace the sleeve. To continue on this part, I'm going to take measurements. See what I'm doing. I got 17 there. I'm also taking 17 on this other edge. I've marked it with a chalk. Sorry, it's not showing on the video, but I marked one and a half inches down from my chalk mark. Yes, after marking this, I took one and a half inches from that chalk mark. That is where I took this tracing from. So I connected it just the way you can see it on the screen. I've removed my pattern and I'll go ahead and cut out the sleeve just the way you are seeing it on the screen. So I'm giving just half inch allowance for sewing. Remember to always put your allowances so that 
you won't fall short of fabric or your fa- or your sleeve being tight. Always remember to put your allowances on clothes or sleeves or anything. So I'm going to have to cut double of this sleeve. As you can see on the screen, I've cut two of it. This is nice. I'll be I will go ahead and also cut the lining. Make sure that your lining is matching, is matching very much with the fabric of choice. Make sure you choose a lining that matches. I always like cutting linings. This one is pure cutting lining, very cool on the body. I'll go ahead and cut exactly the sleeve on the lining piece. I folded it double so that it will give me two lining pieces at once. I've notched that place so that it will be easy to join while joining it to the cloth. This will align with the shoulder line on the shoulder of the bodice. Right now I've cut this. The next thing will be to stabilize it. For this lining, I'll be stabilizing it three inches from that hemline. I'll go ahead and show you the interfacing I intend to use. I was contemplating here whether to put haste on the fabric, but I finally did not. I just added my interfacing at the tip, at the hem part of this lining. So this is when I brought out the haste, considering what, whether I'll put it on the fabric or not, but I ended up not putting it because I don't want it to make the sleeve so heavy. I decided not to put it after consideration. I'll go ahead and put a different type of interfacing. It's mainly this kind of tissue-like paper gum, but not like the regular tissue paper gum. This one is, uh, is thicker. It's a bit thicker than the regular tissue, but not as hard as paper gum. Look at it closely and you will understand the interfacing I used on this, on this lining. So I'll go ahead and fold it into two, just as you can see on the screen. I will place my lining piece. Place my lining piece. Placing it this way, I'll cut it out. I'll cut it out. You can see that I've already used part of the interfacing. Those are the, the cuts, the incomplete parts that you can see on the screen. So I've gone ahead to cut out, trace out the hem part of the sleeve. Kept it aside and measured three, three inches. Make sure you use three inches. If you have a colored chalk, Mark three three inches along this interfacing before you cut out. That's the best. I don't have a handy color chalk. I only had a white chalk, so it will not show. So I didn't bother. I went ahead to use my tape and scissors and cut it out as you can see. This is how I'll be placing it on the lining piece. This is to give structure and body to the hem of this sleeve. For me, this is very important. Though it's strictly choice, but I will advise that you do it as this will give the hem of your sleeve structure. I'll go ahead and cut double of this for the second part of the lining. I've, I've also ironed it. I've gummed it to the lining already with my iron. I've gummed it already. Cut out any excess as shown so that your work will always be neat. Guys, at this point, if you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and do so, so that you will be the first to know whenever I upload. Of course, turn on your post notification bell so that you will be notified. I've gone ahead to join the sleeve. If you watch this one, this is how I joined it. I stitched the hem, put notches on it, 
then I top stitched. That is how I completed the other one that I did. I left this one like this so that I will show you what I did. I top stitched there. So if you will not want your, your seam to show, if you will not want your seam to show, go ahead and stitch inside just as I am showing in this video. Stitch it fabric to fabric, lining to lining, just as you can see on the screen. Stitch it that way and your seam will not be exposed on the reverse. But that is not what I used to complete the one I completed. I exposed the seam. But I just thought I should explain to you just in case you want your own to be inside. Now this is the finished sleeve looking exactly like the picture. If you want it bigger, just feel free to do you. Make it bigger. I'm loving the sleeve. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one. Bye.